Hey guys, how's it going? Zombie back with another customization video for you guys. This time it is on the Coil Cyclone 2. I was hesitant to do any more uh, customizations before the new DLC came out, but I'm like, you know what? I have the money for it. May as well. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get some more customizations out. But um, this thing is... Obviously the Coil Cyclone too. I love the butterfly doors. Freaking awesome. So it is an electric vehicle as you guys can hear. Um, and you can see there's no exhaust in the back. But um, this thing is based off of the Rimac Nevera. I can kind of see it. Um, I'm kind of I kind of have a picture of it up there, up here, kind of looking at it. Um, only thing that's kind of different on it is really just the uh, the headlights the and the really just the bumper and the cannered area where they where you put cannards I don't know it looks pretty nice though oh my god windows fuck off <laughs> all right so we're definitely gonna try this thing out um it does have an HSW upgrade so You see, I'm not a big fan of the electric vehicles in this game. Um, the Tesseract is a huge letdown, and of course, I got the Coil Cyclone, the, the first one. And then the Coil Cyclone 2 came out. I was very pissed off because I just bought the Coil Cyclone. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to sell it, and then I'm going to have to do a customization on on the second one because the first one is was pretty good it was it was actually one of my favorite electric vehicles in the game but so far i'm really liking how this thing handles um there's some things that i would definitely change about it already but eh. okay I, i'm i'm just getting lost here i, I need to mark it there we go that's better so now I should go to I should be able to go directly there, but this thing definitely handles pretty damn well so far. I, I don't know how it's gonna perform after the HSW upgrade, and honestly, I'm not a big fan of HSW stuff because it's uh, a little too fast for my liking, and I have very little control with HSW vehicles. Now, granted, I can handle it very good sometimes, but not all the time. Like, there's some, there's sometimes where I'll be, like, racing and I'm a freaking pro. And then there's times where, like, right now I'm, like, nervous as shit to fucking crash this thing because I want to get it there in one piece. Not like the anime, you know, just... Oh, shut up. <laughs> My god. I, I genuinely hate some of the civilians on this game, man. What the fuck is that car? The Schlagen? Ugh, God. Why would you do that? Of course, you got the Lampadaddy Komoda. Love the Lampadaddy Komoda. Alright, um, we're gonna go ahead and mod vehicle here. So, I'm gonna try to make it look like the real thing, like how it actually looks. Which I kinda hope we can do that. So, so far, pretty freaking good. Pretty cheap HSW upgrade, but... Alright, so brakes. We're gonna do HSW to slow down the HSW stuff. Armor, just because I, I don't really have a purpose on that. Um, Alright, so let's see. Um, yeah, it, there's not one for how it looks IRL, so uh, let's see. So there's a secondary stock splitter, there's a carbon stock, there's primary with fins. Secondary with fins, carbon splitter with fins, primary GT, which is looking the nicest. I kind of like the. Hmm. I think I'm gonna stick with the primary one just because it. I usually don't like the little uh, wires kind of hanging down and doing all that shit, but fuck it, it looks good. All right, so there's not a lot of options for the rear bumper. That's kind of upsetting. See, I don't like the stock but i don't like the secondary diffuser so definitely gonna have to go with the primary just because it is the most unique 
Um, we got the oh, engine tune. Um, oh, okay, yeah, that looks better. That's what I was going for. So in the actual on the actual car, the the fenders, they're not colored like that. They're more like the secondary or carbon. I, I I'm thinking going carbon on that, and then uh changing my front bumper into a carbon GT one. I don't know. I think the carbon GT just fits a little bit better with the uh, look there. And this is this is how the car looks IRL too. So just take note of that. So with this one, it, it's kind of weird. Um, that's a really weird thing to put on. It's like a little white mustache. <laughs> That's weird. Um, so we got all these options. We got the grill plate, we got the secondary grill plate, and then we got the black grill plate. We got the carbon, we got the black crossed grill, we got the chrome, which I think I like the most. Um, the black classic, the chrome classic, which is very close to what it looks like IRL. You got the shark grill, which looks really freaking cool. You got the chrome shark, the inverted shark. You got the inverted chrome shark. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the classic grill just because that's how it looks IRL. Um, I'm not gonna do horns, lights. Oh, I I can change that. Oh, whoa! Look at them angry eyes, bro. Do you don't want to piss off the Hulk? Give him the angry eyes. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got the white thick racing stripe. So. This is what the white would look like if it was a, uh, if it was a different color. Um, you got the double white, and then you got the double black, which I don't think I'm gonna go. For, ooh, that's actually pretty cool, but I don't like the coil name on this. Ooh, okay. Whoa, cyberpunk much? <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty clean. I kind of like that. The HSW. I'm t <laughs> I'm digging the circuit pattern, but I can't I can't put a livery on this thing. It just it bugs me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to. So with this one, um, the mirrors are just kind of stock. Um, I'm personally gonna throw carbon mirrors on this. The mirrors aren't really a big deal in this case. Um, we're gonna throw on. Uh, yellow on black obviously um so for the roof um it's just kind of a white with uh looks like there's a scoop on there you know my god some of these scoops just look ugly okay that looks nice i like that and the secondary and you got the carbon i'm thinking the carbon large roof scoop i don't know i'm kind of between the uh no scoop and the uh carbon i kind of like how it works with the hood and then the very back of it looks pretty nice too i think i'm gonna go with the carbon there man all right so skirts you got the primary secondary carbon primary race secondary race carbon race Ooh, i kind of like that sports one that looks nice um then you got the primary gt Ooh, that's kind of clean i kind of like that um i'm liking the sports skirt just because of how it looks um so we're gonna look at the spoiler i'm not a fan of spoilers on electric cars personally but okay that's actually pretty cool i like how it goes up under the window and up on the roof a little bit so you got the primary secondary the black street we got the carbon street we got the aggressive spoiler which eh. i kind of liked it as it was running up the actual uh window or the windshield or back windshield whatever it's called the whatever the fuck it's called <laughs> i'm gonna do carbon on that because my voice cracked there. Oh my god! <laughs> we're gonna do some. We're gonna do carbon on that just because I like that. Um, we got some sun strips. And... I'm gonna have to go with the black sun strip just just because it it kind of matches with the uh, front part there, or the bottom part of the windshield. It just kind of gives it a little bit more of a 
Among Us vibe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm I'm exhausted, guys. I, I've been fucking. What? The fuck does that mean? Race plus mode. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I don't even know what kind of vehicle this is, but I'm. I already know it's electric. Ooh. Okay. I'm kind of thinking about keeping the white on it, guys, to be honest. I need to go check what this is. Is it a sports or a muscle? I would consider this a sports, to be honest. I, I don't know. Oh, it's a super. Okay. Interesting. So... I mean, I can imagine it being a supercar, but it's just... It doesn't feel like that, man. <laughs> Alright, so there's no supercar, so I'm gonna go high end. This one kinda is up to you guys. Um Let's see. Um I always love the cheetah carbons, just because it kinda matches the carbon look to it. Um Let me look at more. Oh god, don't look at my reputation level. That just shows how long I've been in this stuff. Oh god, I feel like a nerd. So cheetah carbon R, yep. Um wheel colors. Um We're gonna go carbon black just just to say that it's full on carbon. You got the bulletproof tires, um Let me see how I feel about uh some resprays here, because I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Because I like the white, because it, 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 I like white on electric vehicles. The red's pretty nice, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Yellow's okay. Um, you can never go wrong with a blue. Um, I'm kind of digging the white. Let's look at the chameleon. Just make a golden fucking... <sighs> I don't like these, man. I really don't like the chameleons, man. They're just not that great. I think I'm going to keep the, the white, man. So I got black on this thing. Um, where is it coloring in, though? I don't see where it's coloring or anything. It just doesn't tell me. So I'm just going to go frost white and hope that it doesn't mess it up, you know? Yo, that's weird. You see that little line above the uh, the skirt and then it's going back into the back rear wheel? I don't know how I feel about that. It's, it's kind of cool looking, but also kind of like, what the fuck are you doing, guys? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, so... Um, lights, headlights. So you got the xenon, you got the stock. There's no difference between stock and white, you idiot. Um, I kind of want to do blue just because it's like an electric blue, just because it's an electric vehicle. I don't know why, just it seems to fit, and then just a white on it. I don't know. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I like that. That looks pretty nice. Um, I know wish we could change the rear, the uh, taillights and everything, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, so I think that's everything, guys. Um, let's go test this sucker out. All right. You go. You gonna go ride it, man. We gotta go ride it. So you guys saw the HSW upgrade, how much it costs is about 400k. Almost 500k? I, I can't remember. Um, that's that's how quickly I lose it. Um, but you can come to Legendary and it is quite literally right here. It is a 2.25 million dollar car. It's not a bad price. It's only on the Xbox Series X and S, unfortunately. Um, so, anybody on last-gen consoles, you should have already known by the time I was doing HSW stuff. So, um, I don't know why I 
lights on. All right, let's go, baby. Oh my. You're up to speed very quick and it kind of loses the handling a bit. My, oh my. Man, oh man, is it fun though. It kind of zoom. Oh geez, yeah, it zooms. Whoa, I didn't, I had no plan on doing that. Oh my god, this thing, oh my fucking god. Ah, hell. I need an adult. We zoom it, baby. Don't worry. I will get you back to my house safe because that's where I like to do my reviews. And where I like to make comments about this thing. Oh my god. This thing is actually scary to drive. But it's super cool looking too. It's very futuristic and kind of... And it's not a Tesla, that's the weird thing. I thought it would be like a Tesla. I thought all the vehicles in this game would be Teslas. Oh, wow. Okay, handling's not the worst thing in the world. You just have to get used to it. Okay. All right, let me just go ahead and zoom right in here and fix this sucker up because I would like to present the vehicle in a proper way, you know? So that was kind of the little drive here. It's not bad. Oh, God, I don't like that that one's there. <sighs> the only vehicle that I hate having in this thing. Just that. I hate it. It's a cool one and all, but it's just, I don't want to have it in this garage specifically. This, these are, this is my garage of stuff that I actually use. Like, for example, the Carbon is Air, the Cuchu Drag, the uh, Skyline, the Oppressor Mark II, the Saddler. I, my Deluxo is destroyed right now, I don't know why. Um, and my Karen Salton, and then my Can of Seminole. Which I think I'm going to be upgrading to the can, uh, can of Seminole Frontier soon. Alright, so. F at, right off the rip. You get really quick speeds. Like, you see how quick it just zooms. And that's that's the scary part. I'm not used to something like that. I, I like something that's a little bit slower. But that's just my own personal opinion. I do love the butterfly doors. That is badass. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, open all the all the doors here real quick. Kind of show stuff off. So that's weird. It only opens up the... That's actually really weird. I assume I assume it's because you can access everything from the, from the pit here. I'm not 100% sure. Let me check on that. Um... Okay. Yeah, it just, it seems like you can access everything for the pit here. It's not... The thing has to be hard to work on, man. Genuinely. Excuse me, ma'am. Um... Excuse me. Come here. Come here. You wanted to... Come into my shit? Annoying? The fuck out of me? I swear, these goddamn civilians, man. Okay. Okay, now that everything's clear and that bitch is silenced. Um, one thing that I'm kind of digging is the butterfly doors and then the, uh, little split down the middle there. Like, I love how those, like, I don't love big spoilers, but on this car, I think this, I think the spoiler's kind of necessary on this thing. Not, like, too much, but, eh. It's kind of opinionated. Um, I kind of... I don't like how this thing dropped significantly. Um, it's, it's very visible that this thing's going to be scraping if you hit a, a little bump. Um, but my I think my biggest problem is not knowing the engine very well and not being an electric car guy. 
unfortunately, this thing is... It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's just not my favorite. I mean, it looks cool and all. It's just there's something off about it. It's very fast, as you can see. I went down that little strip there really quick. I drove it for a while. It's just, it's so, it's a little too fast. It's a little too dangerous for me. So, am I going to keep it? Absolutely, because it's a, it's the best electric vehicle in the game right now. Am I, am I going to rate it high? Probably not. I mean, you got to start getting me some gigs with some bigger names. I'm gonna, whoa, whoa. Okay, now that that, that guy shut up, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and drive into my garage so they don't destroy this car and I don't get killed in this video, you know? <laughs> okay, so um, I don't know what that little message was whenever I was trying to enter my garage. What was that? Okay, so yeah, I think I think I'm gonna have to rate this like a seven point eight. Just because it's a pretty decent car. It, it has some great traction, great braking and everything. I just, I don't like electric vehicles that much. If you guys like them, that's up to you. I just personally don't like electric vehicles. And yes, I did a little bit of a outfit change. Um, thinking about putting a hat or something on. I, I don't know. I just, I don't like the straps. Um, but like I said, 7.8 for this thing. It, it could be better, could be worse. Um, I don't know. Compared to this thing, though, I got to give it to this. Um, but I don't know. It's definitely going to stay in this garage because I do want to have an electric vehicle to kind of separate out all the uh, the combustion engine ones because all these are combustion engines. Well, I'm not sure what the motorcycle... I don't i have no clue what this motorcycle and the oppressor has but the rest of these have combustion engines and gas fed i don't know but this thing is cool if you guys want to get it it's totally up to you um would i advise getting it not really because there's way better vehicles out there and plus way better handling i don't know this thing just the handling is a little scary at times, and I, I wouldn't personally sit here and vouch for it too much. It's it's okay. Don't get me wrong. But there's just something that I'd change about it, and I don't know. I love how it looks. It looks fucking gorgeous. But there's just... It's just the handling needs to be toned... Like, brought up, actually. Not toned down. Brought up. It would feel a lot better if this thing had better handling. The traction is okay. That's fine. It's just the handling on this thing is absolute garbage. I wouldn't say it's absolute shit, but it's garbage. It's garbage at best. But I don't know. You guys let me know your opinions on this vehicle. That That's just mine. I, I wanted to get this customization out for... This will probably be like two or three days before uh, the new DLC comes out. I'm going to be uploading a ton of these customizations before the day. Um, I decided to uh, wait until wait until the DLC, like when it gets closer to the DLC. So tomorrow I'm going to be putting out a couple videos, and then uh, Monday I'm going to be doing some, and then uh, we'll be doing some videos for the new DLC, obviously. So... Anyways, um, if you guys want to see more customizations and you are looking forward to this new DLC, I'm going to be trying to cover it. Leave a like. Comment if you guys want me to do a specific vehicle, like old, new, whatever you guys want, I will try to do it. Um, lastly, subscribe if you guys haven't yet. I know most of y'all aren't subscribed, and I know a lot of views are not, they're, they're not subscribed, basically. All the people that are watching, I know most of y'all ain't subscribed. I know it. But anyways, um, go check out W in the description. You can use my code, capital L-Z-O-M-B-I-E, and you'll get a 10% off discount if you do decide to check out. I'm going to try to keep that that uh, little sponsorship on the download. I, I don't want to ruin it too much for the new DLC, and I also, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to 
talk about it more in streams, not on videos. I think it's a little bit more appropriate on streams nowadays. I don't know. I just want to have fun with these customizations and I don't want to throw sponsors in too much, you know? And plus, people are here to see little customizations, not be bombarded with shit, you know? But anyways, I've, I've talked too much. Like I said, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, you guys.